Biden FBI continues ignoring attack on food supply. Well, we had a, an FBI warning today that there will be food shortages because of the supply chain crisis and the fires ongoing. Someone asked me just today on a comment, how many fires are there up to now? Well, this uh, news article says two dozen major fires and counting, okay, 24 and counting. For months, unusual fires have been erupting in important food industry facilities all over America, while uh, global elites warned us to get ready for food shortages. Yet according to Biden's FBI, there is nothing to see here. Well, they did issue a warning today, everyone concerning the ransomware uh, cyber attacks on food uh, facilities. Everyone else can see that something really strange is happening. And now even Tucker Carlson is talking about this on TV. Don't believe me that something strange is happening. Take a look at this list of 16 major fires that have occurred just since the start of the year. Unfortunately, since that article was written, a couple of more mysterious incidents have taken place. Mysterious meaning, is it coincidence? Very early on Saturday, firefighters were called out to battle a fire at the General Mills facility in Cedar Rapids in Iowa. An early morning fire at General Mills led first responders to the roof of the company to attack the flames from above. The call came in around 3.45 in the morning. On Saturday, at the plant located 4800 Edgewood Road Southwest, first responders discovered hot spots where a vent stack makes contact with the roof. Steam and smoke were already visible. Crews reached the roof and confirmed the location of the fire below them with the help of thermal imaging. Firefighters removed roofing material and found the flames working their way through the ceiling and traveling with the vent stack. I mean, is that having to do with the construction of the uh, facility? Oddly, this fire erupted less than 48 hours after a plane crashed at General Mills facility in Covington, Georgia. The investigators spent Friday at General Mills plant in Covington, combing through the wreckage of a deadly plane crash that happened the previous evening. A twin engine Cessna crashed into several semi-trailers, a remote part of the cereal plant Thursday evening, the Covington Police Department said. Hidden in America's reports, is it just a coincidence? that there were two major disasters at General Mills facilities in 24 hours of one another. Both of them were General Mills food facilities. That is what some would have us believe. Of course, there have been a whole bunch of other coincidences happening lately as well. Less than a week ago, the headquarters of Azure Standard burned to the ground in a massive fire. CEO David Setzler is admitting that all Azure market liquid products will be out of stock for the foreseeable future as a result. He said, for our customers, three primary product groups are affected due to the destroyed automated liquid pour fa facility, fruit packaging facility, and carob products facilities. He said, because of this, we will experience out of stock status for Azure market oils, honey, and vinegars, basically any Azure market liquid product, as well as our carrot products from the short term, we are not yet at fruit harvest, so no immediate impact will be experienced for the loss of our fruit packing facility. None of the products we distribute for our vendors will be affected, he said. And just a few days before that, a four-alarm fire destroyed a very important food processing facility in Salinas, California. Authorities Thursday lifted all evacuation and shelter-in-place orders in an area of Salinas, where a four-alarm fire sparked a day earlier at a food processing plant, prompting fears of a possible explosion in hazardous plume of ammonia. This is what the city official said. The fire was initially reported at 7.15 p.m. Wednesday at the Taylor Farms Processing Facility at Abbott Street and prompted an early order early Thursday for evacuation affected on est estimated 2,700 people and a shelter-in-place order affecting an estimated 35,000 people. If these were isolated incidents, perhaps we never would have taken notice of them, but they are not isolated incidents. In fact, fires have been mysteriously erupting at America's food processing facilities for many months. Strangely, the latest fires happened during the same week 
that the FBI admitted that Americans' farmers are now being specifically targeted by ransomware attacks. A new warning right now for local farmers. The FBI says you need to be on alert for ransomware attacks. As KDKA money editor Joe Delano explains, those attacks on farmers could impact the rest of us at the grocery store, of course. Whether it's a dairy or poultry farm, a cattle farm or a farm that grows grain, farming is a key part of Pennsylvania's economy. Could there be some relation between these two stories? Well, for now, the FBI is not saying, and most of the talking heads on television are, su are assuring us that there is nothing to be concerned about and that everything will be just fine. Meanwhile, more fires continue to make the news. On Sunday, it was being reported that nearly a dozen wildfires just roared through key agricultural areas of Nebraska. Sunday was far from a day of rest for firefighters across much of the state of Nebraska as they continued to map up, mop up nearly a dozen wildfires and remaining alert for more than that. That by Sunday morning, the Road 207 fire in the Cambridge area covered 50,000 acres, a much larger area than 33,000 acres, burned in April 7 to 9 fire in Gosper and Furnas counties. A management team from the Rocky Mountain area took command of the battle at 7 a.m. Sunday morning. And a total of 20 wildfires are ripping across New Mexico, as this article was written. New Mexico Governor Michel Lujan Grisham signed emergency declarations as 20 wildfires continue to burn Sunday in nearly half of the state's drought-stricken 33 counties. I don't know how all of the things that I have discussed in this article tied together, the writer says, but what I do know is that all of them will have an impact on our food supply. As I've discussed previously, UN officials are warning that we are headed into the worst global food crisis since World War II. Do you remember when millions of people starved to death in 1980s and there were endless appeals on television asking us to give to the hungry? Well, authorities are telling us that what's coming is going to be much worse than that. A perfect storm, quote unquote, of factors is combining to create the greatest stress on global food supplies that we have seen in modern times. But most of the talking heads on television want you to believe everything is under control and that better times are just around the corner. You can believe them if you want, but there are recommendations to get prepared for the crisis while you still can. This is by Baxter Dimitri on News Punch. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.